back to the channel. Special day today. We got a special guest star, Joey. Yeah, Joey. We are hunting chanterelles. That's the primary target. Um, it's been raining a ton, so we might find a lot of other stuff too. But we're mainly going for golden chanterelles, cantharellus sibarius, and we're probably gonna hit six, seven, eight different spots today. It's been really hot. We're in early July here and we've had a ton of rain and thunderstorms lately, but it's also been in the 80s and 90s. Today it's only supposed to be a high in the 70s and we are going to get some rain and thunderstorms this afternoon, but it's definitely a little more tolerable in the woods. So we're going to try and beat our previous record, which was 49 pounds, 49 pounds in one day. This year's shaping up to be really nice so far. So get to the first spot here and see how it looks. Don't step on that one. There's one right over there. Joey's got a big one. Look at that beauty. Look at that. That is a beauty. So just uh, mixed hardwoods. We got some poplar, hickory, maple, some oak mixed in, that kind of thing. And there are some here. See that one right there? A lot of them hiding under the leaves. Best way I found to pick these is just using a good sharp pair of scissors. So just get right down low and snip them off. That is the target species there. I think that's red stripe. I don't know. I'm not a red stripe expert. Hit me up in comments and yell at me and tell me that's not red stripe. But that looks like a red stripe bottle to me. You can go for a ice cold red stripe right now but you can see there's a nice little nice little line of them right here some of them are buggy some of them not too bad nice line over there just coming up too so i'll pick these slug out see when you cut the chanterelles open so it is egg yolk yellow outside but when you cut them they're white flesh on the inside and hopefully you can see they have dull branching very blunt little ridges on the underneath side of the cap some of the lookalikes will have Deeper, more knife-like traditional gills. The chanterelles just have these branching, blunt ridges like you see here. Some big boys down in there. Looks like there's a vein of them that kind of runs down that wash right there. But they're up in here too. See them all up in there? This is where this is where you were thinking we went up into the pines, the pines but it wasn't yeah. that far off the trail. Yeah, go down further too? Yeah, I think they go down a ways. Yeah, I'll pick these up this way. Nice little patch up in here. This big old red oak tree. Joey. I don't know where Joey went. Oh, there he is. Let's see him. Sasquatch. Slugs. That's what the slugs do to him. It's all chewed up. Sluggy. So usually the ones that are hiding under the leaves like that that aren't slugged up too bad yet. Yeah, there's no point letting these get bigger because they're just going to get slugged. Let me see how many you got. Okay. Let me see oh, your bag. Either, <laughs> Bad. I have to sort through them. Yeah, you got the primo ones. I came up on you. I said, oh, look how big those are. Yeah. Well, I lost Joey again. But just walking along this dirt road and 
You can see there's one right up ahead there, a big oak tree. Seems like find chanterelles in all kinds of mixed hardwoods. You know, we got some poplar here too, usually ash, hickory, poplar, maple, oak, that kind of stuff. But uh, a lot of our ash are dead, thanks to the emerald ash borer. But they definitely seem to have a preference for oak as well. So I'm finding that just walking this dirt road along these big oak trees. Another big oak here. Yeah, there we go. Nice little patch right there. The mycelium's just crawling all over under those leaves. I don't know if that's chanterelle mycelium, but I'm guessing it is because it's right next door here. Got all kinds of little chanterelles coming up. Just like I mentioned in my morel videos too, if you find a few of them, start digging around, moving leaves around because you'll find that there's probably a lot more than you think there is. Hopefully you guys can see the difference here. So the one on the right is a chanterelle. You can see those blunt edged, branched, shallow ridges on there. And then we're finding quite a few of these on the left here too. I think they're a species of waxy cap, but you can see the gills are more knife-like, much deeper, thinner gills. And we have a hollow stalk. The internal flesh is yellowish orange as well. Where on the chanterelle, it's white. Chanterelle on the right, definitely not a chanterelle on the left. Those are vermilion waxy caps, I believe. I saw them. What? You think I'm wrong? No. I, I, I didn't know what they were. I'm going to these. Going down the gun. Don't stab yourself in the face with those scissors when you fall. You look like a small grizzly bear. There's another one in the vermilion waxy caps. Oh, man. Well. This is going to be our last spot, I think. Yeah. <sighs> Joey's graciously offered to pick all these right next to the road here while I explore further down the hill. That's a big patch. Oh, yeah, I see some further down, too. Down the wash. Nice patch of chanterelles. I saw those. Those are the ones I was just looking at. Yeah. Nice patch. Could be the best patch of the day there so far. I think so. Yeah. I mean, they, don't, they look nice. Too. Oh, there's some under the leaves here, too, Joey. Check this out. See these? Look at all these. Mm. These aren't really fully up yet. A lot of them here. Again, we're under under the oak trees, but oh, it's a big patch here. Distracting. This is where exactly the type of habitat we usually find them, though. See, you start pulling the leaves away. Are like all over the place there. But it's usually kind of sparse understory like we have here. Usually not bare ground, not real heavy understory, just kind of smattering of stuff under these, like we have here under these hardwoods. That's a hog right there. That's a big one. All right. So it's kind of running up this wash. Going up towards the road. So I'm gonna look downhill a little further here. We got big oaks here. It's a big poplar over there. Some maple. A lot of oak in here. 
pretty obvious from the leaves on the forest floor. So this is all red oak. It's red oak with the pointy ends of the lobes. So what we get, 15 pounds? Joey totaled it up, he said 15 pounds. So, not a record day, but a nice day. And uh, the rain held off for the most part. We got a couple rainstorms, but nothing too bad. So, hit me up in comments. Let me know what you think. And I will catch you next video.